So we bought a trailer. <laughs> I convinced him <laughs> to make a. You can't say that on YouTube. Hey, you can. Well, you shouldn't. Anyways, we bought a trailer to make a food cart. We went back and forth. We started out with this one here. And that didn't work out. Um, so we looked forever and we we found another one. Here it is. <laughs> I think it's a 1963 or 64. I think it's called... I think it's called a Travel Ease brand trailer. There's a rumor that it's a Shasta, but I wasn't able to really verify that based on the look of it. So I'll give you a tour of where we're at right now. So it's in pretty questionable shape. <laughs> This was a new floor that was put in, but I think just based on the fact that it rattles pretty hardcore when you move it around, the floor is sort of wonky now. It has this, um, it's like a fabric, like a canvas or something, um, because they were going to use it as a food truck. But as you can see, we've got some pretty uh, interesting spots. But we do have a vintage trailer. So it's got this counter in it, but we're going to replace that. It did come with this really cool piece of wood here that supposedly fits perfectly in there. So we'll see. But these metal supports, I believe those were added on because all of the corner pieces are rotten on the framing and so the entire thing has started to sort of shrink or <laughs> kneel down a little bit so I somebody put these in I think to give it some support I haven't been able to find any other trailers that had those in there so I'm pretty sure that's an addition it did come with the sink so hopefully we'll be able to make use of that but pretty much everything you see will be gone and we're going to start from scratch. Got some good ceiling trim here. <laughs> the whole ceiling is movable. So there you have it. Okay, we're here day one. We're gonna start cleaning out the trailer and pulling down all of this vinyl that was put up uh, previously so that we can expose the wood frame and see how much damage there is.
well I just had to show you I'm taking down that top piece on the ceiling the vinyl on the ceiling I just wanted to show you it is literally held up with duct tape duct tape that's what's on this ceiling duct tape <laughs> day one is done we've got most of the vinyl interior out got part of this bar countertop out and interestingly enough I'll show you some of the framing has completely rotted out and as you go down you can see that there's really nothing down here these boards that were underneath the main window as I took the vinyl out they just completely collapsed as you can tell there's one there on the floor they just collapsed. There's really nothing holding this window up. Over here in this other corner, you can see that it starts up here. It doesn't look too bad, except for that you can kind of push your finger through this stuff. There's not a lot supporting it. But as you go down, there's nothing at the bottom at all. There's nothing supporting it. And that is evidenced by when you go outside and you see the entire front is sort of sinking in. Let me give you a better view here. It's all sort of sinking down. Same thing. Over here you can see where it's kind of bending and rounding. And the reason for that is that there's there's really nothing supporting the weight of the exterior. There's nothing supporting it at all. So all of the framing is funny. You've got a lot of things where there's nothing supporting right here. <laughs> You've got some wiring on this side that's just hanging loose and taped together or even more fun, something like this. It's a nice little fire hazard. So this is the condition inside the front door. This is what's supporting all of the walls. This wood that just picks apart. Somebody put a new floor on top of this wood that just breaks apart. And we don't know quite what this is, but there's some, somebody put some metal something on top of this bottom metal sheeting. Not really sure what that is. I guess we'll find out. So we pulled a lot of it out and tomorrow we will continue. We're going to take this sink out and the rest of the countertop and then the flooring and then we'll get an, a better idea of what we're dealing with for the beams that support everything on the exterior. We'll see you tomorrow.